Welcome back guys and say hello to my little friend. It's my new project car. I know I've got a couple more on the boil at the moment. Obviously with the Ute and the B310 but when I saw this I had to have it. It's an S12 Nissan Gazelle. Was a 2 litre. Still is. Ah, it's a bit rough. We didn't notice that. A little bit of rust there. Paint around the bumper. I've got a, well, the owner's given me a bumper that I can include, a JDM one. That's great. A little bit of rust behind here. Uh, the doors have a bit of rust too. A little bit in the bonnet. But nothing major. A few little scratches. A little dent there. Surface rust. A bit of paint coming off. Faded, but it is in 1985, so it's to be expected. It needs a good clean. There's a bit of rust in the door. And here I've got two spare doors that I need to fit. One of as well, although. One, it looks like I could fix that without having to worry about it. Obviously, there's a few issues with this door, so I'll definitely be swapping that over. Again, a little ding here. I mean, it's all pretty simple and straightforward. It looks fucking cool. Not a fan of those plates, and I don't know why this camera keeps on struggling to focus today. The plates are going to go, but... Apart from that, I love it. The wheels, I'll probably change, although they're alright at the moment. Maybe those um, teardrop S13 wheels that I've got on the Ute could go on this actually. I uh, looked at the tyres, these are 195 15R. The ones on the Ute are 175 15R, so they're a little bit smaller, but they'll fit. These tyres are okay though. Uh, I used to have an S13, so I wanted something with flip-up lights again. I just saw this and I had to have it. Let's check out the interior. It's pretty clean. It's got a big wood grain steering wheel. Um, for the carpenters out there, I'm not into wood in a car at all. Keep it in your house or furniture, or maybe in your boat, but that's going to go because I hate wood in a fucking car. I'm going to get a Momo Prototipo, same as what I got on the Ute, but I'm going to get an all black one because they look fucking sick. It's got an accordion gear shifter, although just yesterday maybe a bit of spirited driving, uh, it's popped out so I've just got to glue that back in. I'm going to leave as is. Um, seats look alright, looks relatively tidy. Back seat, what you'd expect I guess. Not much to look at, got some tissue there so I can wipe the windows down, especially at the back because I want to stick the suction cap on there so I can do some driving footage so you can hear this thing. Ah, speakers have been removed. You'll see when I drive but the speedo doesn't work at all. The taco I'm pretty sure is off um, as well, out of calibration. Uh, the lights <laughs> work up to 3,000, 3.5 and all to the left and then to the right 
the lights and the gauge, those two gauges don't work, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, it came, the previous owner put in a GPS speedo, obviously to rectify the problems that he had with the speedo not working. So that's something I really wanna fix. Um, it's got this old radio that doesn't work. The AC has been disconnected. Wouldn't mind reconnecting it. Uh, apart from that, there's not much else to look at. A Nismo gear knob. Looks like it's glued on, so I can't remove that. I'll just leave that as is, but definitely will remove this shitty steering wheel. Let's go look at the engine bay. See if I can do this with one hand. Um, yes, I can. And this is the reason why I bought it. Anyone recognize the engine? Yep, that's right. It's an Ortec SR20. Same as what's in the Ute. So the conversion's been done. It works and this thing's registered. So I saw it and I thought, fuck, I have to have this. Get to see what the engine's like. A little preview before I get to drive it in my actual, in the Ute. Obviously this is gonna be a bit stocker than what's gonna end up being in the Ute. This car also weighs uh, about 1200, whereas the Ute with the A-Series is about 800. So with the SR, it's probably over 900, maybe 950, maybe closer to 1000, but that's still a good 200 kilograms lighter than this. And this thing goes pretty well. So uh, there's a few things to fix up on it, tidy up mainly. You'll see when we're driving it, but the idling, it's hunting for an idle sometimes, although I've been driving it every day for the past week and it has got better, so I don't know if it's just, you know, not being used enough. Using it helps keep things lubed, so to speak, so keeps everything inside the engine a bit cleaner. It's still not quite perfect, so what I'm gonna have to do is, um, uh, I'm gonna have to try and fix that idle. I think I'll, that'll be my next video, fixing the idle with the SR. Uh, it's had the, oh, where is it, on this side? There's a power steering pump, but it's had the AC removed. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Anyway, it would be sitting down the bottom part there. I have the pump, so I'll think about fitting it, uh, but no big drama right now. We're in the middle of winter, so everything's pretty cold. If you can see out there, a bit of a view. I've taken the car down here for a nice scenic location. Another thing I want to do is change the oil because he's put 1550, the previous owners put 15W50 and my talks with both Liqui Moly and Royal Purple say that this engine is more than happy with 10W40 so 1550 is pretty thick. I'll change the oil, uh, clean the ICV, play around with the throttle, I'll do a um, throttle position sensor reset so it should reset the idle and we should get a nice 800 RPM although because the taco is out of whack and not reading properly. Who knows if I'll even get the right number. Um, but at least if it's not hunting for an idle and bouncing up and down and stalling whenever I, well, not whenever I pull up to a set of lights, but sometimes, or if I am about to park the car and put it in reverse, it, that's the, the most common time it goes or it stalls. So also another thing I like to do with cars when I get them is give the whole interior a full steam clean. Uh, so that'll be on the cards shortly as well. I've got a steam cleaner at home, so I'll just get into it when I get a chance. All right, let's take it for a spin. I need to hook up my um, camera, in-car camera mount situation. I bought one mount today, and it's pretty shit, but, well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's sticking to the mirror, but, oh, sorry, to the window, but it's not gonna stick to, like, the dash or somewhere else, so. I'm limited in angles, but anyway, this isn't too bad. Let's get up this hill. Nice narrow roads around here. So as far as I can see, most of it's stopped. Brakes, the front brakes are cross drilled, but I think they're just stock size calipers. Look, I mean, it stops fine. It used to be a two liter anyway, just obviously not as much power. I believe it was a CA20E, so single overhead cam, two liter CA motor. Would have gone okay. I think it probably had 
<laughs> probably had like 100 kilowatts or something like that, maybe even less. Um, this obviously being an Autec motor has 200 horsepower, so it was at about 150 kilowatts. Um, and yeah, it goes really well. There's an S13 there, I love that one. I've seen it around a bit, it's pretty good. Uh, this thing handles really well. Like, it handles like a go-kart. It's got power steering, obviously. And you know, this steering wheel, while it is wood, it, it doesn't feel too bad to drive with. So I don't mind it, but the way it handles is just awesome. I reckon the strut brace at the front and back, bigger wheels with bigger tires, because, I mean, these tires aren't bad, but just bigger ones would be better. Uh, you'd really get some good grip, I reckon. And I'm sure all the neighbors are loving this. All the people, not neighbors, people that live around here. Um, where are we? Uh, okay. Not ideally where I wanted to go, but let's hook a left. Um, but yeah, it just handles really well. Revs nice and clean. I'm really interested to see how it's going to go with the slightly thinner um, engine oil, because this is really thick. Uh, I have to warm it up. Oops, pulled it out of gear. I have to warm it up just to let it get up to temp so it's not you can really feel that it's a bit not gummy but it just feels a little bit like it, it feels like it needs to be loosened up basically so with the better well the thinner oil it should be a little bit nicer maybe rev a bit cleaner um, definitely today I, I took it to the red line the cutoff where it you know bounces on the limiter so basically SRs have a well my my old S13 my 180 used to have a cutoff where it, once it hit it um, it will retard timing so that the RPM drops down and then it kicks back in so it goes up again but you obviously can't get past that um, cutoff which I think is 7.2 here this engine's supposed to have a seven and a half thousand RPM cutoff and on the taco I didn't see exactly but it didn't go past seven I'm almost a thousand percent sure of that so uh, the taco has got some issues now the idling you can hear it going up and down listen for a second Yeah, it's definitely, it definitely needs at least, well, it's going to be interesting to see what the solution is, but um, I've got a few options. But, I don't know if the cleaning the IACV is going to solve it. It's Because it's not as, I've seen it worse on SRs, where it's really trying a lot harder. So I am thinking it's probably just gunk and shit in the system that's sort of messing up one of the sensors. Um, so the, what is, what does the IACV stand for again? I did a whole video on it, I just can't remember at the moment. Idle air control valve, there you go. So it's basically when the throttle, ooh, almost try to stall then. When the throttle is, throttle body is closed, uh, the, the ECU needs a reading from somewhere to gauge how much air is there, what the vacuum is, and it gets, it from just before the throttle body so there's a if you look at the engine bay there's a yeah it's really hunting now um, there's a pipe that goes all the way to the front of the intake or front of the front of the fr throttle body where the pipe is and that's what I had to um, get that's what I had to weld in for my ute as well um, a pipe that I could put there so I can still run the IACV now I've heard that when I've got a aftermarket ECU I shouldn't have that problem I shouldn't have to worry about it but until that such a time when that happens, it's really hunting now. Uh, but until such a time happens where I have my ECU fitted and installed and running, I figured I better have that there in case. So we'll just see how it goes. But on this one, and now see it's idling quite smoothly at a thousand RPM though. But it sounds like a decent idle. So. This is how it was all day when I was, I drove it all day around. I drove it probably over a hundred kilometers today and it had a beautiful idle and it was only once or twice when it didn't, but now it's getting a bit cooler. Um, I parked it for a while, so maybe the engine cooled down as well. Um, the night is coming, so it's getting cold. I don't know, but it just seems to be a problem when it's definitely, I've, this is the first time I drove the car at daytime and it was good. 
but at night time I seem to have that problem a little bit more and now it's coming back in so it must have something to do with the temperature. Yeah, that, that exhaust, it sounds alright once it gets on song but I mean I hate the look of cannons anyway but <laughs> When it's lower than like 3,000 RPM, it's so droney, it just sounds like shit, really. That, that sounds a bit shit there, too, really. So that's at 3,300 in third gear. See if I can get a bit of a, a bit of clear air just to give it a bit of a, a blat, so you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, there you go. That's that's what it sounds like. Just thinking one simple pipe, maybe dual pipes that look you know half decent a bit hidden away not this fucking massive cannon hanging out hanging its ass end out of the car like if I lowered it at all which doesn't have any coilovers nothing's lowered but if I lowered it it's going to be scraping over everything anyway that's the update for today sorry guys it's been a while since I've done one I've just been busy with work other things and some of the parts that I've wanted I've been taking a while to come so for the ute and for the um sunny as well for the ute i'll give an update shortly just probably a walk around a little bit of an update of where everything's at um, because there's there is a bit of movement and i'm hoping that soon very soon i might at least be able to do its very first start um, in the next couple of weeks but we're waiting on the wiring loop for that and it's over with the the electrician so hoping that will be soon but i'll give you an update on where that's at and everything shortly uh, in the meantime, drop a comment below if you want to see anything in particular done with this car. Uh, I've got no real massive plans for it. I just want to drive it and enjoy it. The engine makes the... Like, I wouldn't probably ever buy an S12 um, stock. So, when I saw it and I had this engine in it, I just thought, I have to have it. Why not? So, now I own two Ortec SR20s. Uh, proud owner of both. And it's pretty fun in this car, actually. I haven't really had a chance to give it a proper hoon. The, uh, last weekend was double the merits, and this weekend we're in lockdown. But, yeah, just every, every time I take it out for a spin, I seem to see cops everywhere. And because it's so loud, I just don't want them to come and pull me over. So, it's really annoying. Like, I've only had it for a week, but literally every time I've gone out for a spin, I've seen, like, four or five co cops on... A fairly short cruise so I don't know what's doing but and they've a couple of them have had a long hard look at this too so yeah I just don't want to don't want to hammer it like that when there's cops around they're probably one around the corner now anyway guys leave a comment below if you want to see me do anything in particular to this after I've tidied up the dash the exhaust got it running perfectly like I want it uh, fixed up some of the rust uh, Might look at things like wheels better tires suspension mods uh, But yeah, I'm open to suggestions. So Let me know in the comments below. All right. See you on the next one <laughs>